As you can already tell, I already have my foundation, my concealer. I also have set my concealer with no other than who? Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. Obviously, going with this airbrush thing, also the foundation. But don't worry, I will be leaving all the products that I'm using today in the description box below. But hey, you know, summer is coming and we have seen so many brands dropping left and right bronzers because what else is summertime that makeup mm, you know relates to our bronzers and i'm super excited because as soon as she sneak peeks these products and i'm saying products because i also got right here the luxury palette the, the little quad ah super excited so i couldn't resist my temptation and i got actually two of the bronzers i got them in the shades medium and tan because i didn't know I know it, it sometimes it's hard I didn't know which one to get so let's see how this goes now these are big these are big babies right here yeah I actually happen to have a Marc Jacobs box right here one, uh, one of the bronzers so looking at side by side look at that I mean the size is nice and big also for reference if you have this palette right here glow gossam face palette I mean, look at this. Yeah. So, you want to see what is inside? I have them right here. They are beautiful. Let me tell you, they are beautiful. These bronzers right here, they look like a beautiful shell. More perfect than that for summer. I think they did an absolutely amazing job. Now, this product right here is actually made in Italy. And what I love about these two is that it's actually refillable. This is the 3 Tan Doré. And if you look on the back right here, there is a, a small kind of like a indentation right there where you can poke it and take out the pan. So if you're you know, if you're done with your bronzer, you can buy a refill. Now, the refills are not available just yet. I It is my understanding that they are coming late summer. Obviously, they are trying to first sell these products right here instead of for people to buy, you know, the pans, the refills, and just put it in X, you know, like Z palette, which is, I mean, there's nothing wrong about it, but I, I, I kind of see what they are trying to do right here. Now, let me show you also that medium shade or the shade number two, side by side. So this is the number two and this is the number three. Definitely, you get a really nice size mirror too. These are weighty and they are, they just look very luxe. Also, what I like is that they are not too bulky. So they are pretty much a nice compact. And then just to show you side by side with this airbrush, I mean, you can see the difference right here. After I'm done with application, I will go over with comparisons with other products, other bronzers from another luxury or high-end brands. But just to give you a little bit of price comparison right here, for example, a Marc Jacobs bronzer is $49. You get right here a total amount of 25 grams of product. This one right here is $55. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive and this one you get 16 grams of product so it's i mean you get more product right here less amount of money so this one is a little bit more expensive but if we compare it with say a tom for one this right here <laughs> comes with 15 grams of product and again this one right here with 16 grams we're talking about right here of 55 dollars versus 112 dollars i mean it's even a little bit more than double the price for the same amount of product. Okay, so let me just go really quick to Charlotte Tilbury's website because this product right here, the bronzers, they come in four different shades and there's a few claims right here. For the first claim is that this product contains hyaluronic acid, which is something that we see a lot nowadays, not only on the skincare, but also on makeup products and it's kind of that magical word that, I mean, Charlotte Tilbury always uses the word magic pretty much on everything. Also, it says right here that it will blur your pores. And that's something that I'm really wanting to see if that's true. Because I do have a large pores on this area right here and on the side of my cheeks. 
that's all from sun damage of many many years so my pores have you know gotten enlarged on that area what else is this right here this is also not only a face bronzer but also a body bronzer so you can also use it on your body and i mean any bronzer you can use it on your body it's not like a specific thing another thing to note right here is that this bronzer was pretty much inspired by this powder right here for that airbrush finish so it says here that it has its dna in it you know with the air finely meal pigments to blur the pores and smooth the skin and it's also a matte bronzer now i love some type of glow but i also love matte bronzers when they are well done when there's when there's a certain again i mean like i know that the word can be redundant right here but when there is this airbrush finish i think a matte bronzer when it's like very soft and very velvety can really like create a beautiful dimension on your skin. When it's too flat matte, too dry, too just like plain, then it looks, it doesn't look good. So I have high hopes for these. And mostly if it's something I like to the Film Star Bronze and Glow Duos, these are also amazing. Now this is more of a contour and kind of brightening highlighter, a very subtle highlighter right here. I'm gonna go over comparisons in just a little, but right now I really wanna start with the application of these products, see how they work. Oh my goodness, yeah. And with my order, I also purchased the new quad, like I was telling you. This is Desert Haze, it comes in the same packaging, also it's made in Italy, it's one of our luxury quads. I just want to show it to you right now. <laughs> this is actually a lot prettier in person than all the pictures that I have been seeing on Instagram. On Instagram, I have been seeing pictures that it, this looks too orange, just too, too warm. This doesn't seem like it's so, so warm. I mean, we will see in a minute when I do the swatches and I apply it on my eyes, but yeah. Let me just get you a little bit closer and let's start with this demo. First things first, let me swatch these two babies right here side by side. Ooh, it feels so soft, so soft. Okay, this is the shade number two, medium. And then this right here is the shade tan doré. Definitely this shade right here, I don't know how much it will make on my skin tone, but we will see because I had the same opinion of the film star. I was thinking, oh, that's not going to bronze my face and I was completely wrong. But then the shade medium looks a little bit more neutral while this one right here looks a little bit more warm. It has a little bit more warmth into it. Not really orange, no, but it's just a little bit warmer. Okay. So I'm gonna go right here with this shade first, the lightest shade. And by the way, this collection also came with a brush. I like to, kind of like a kabuki brush. I decided to pass on, I mean, I don't think the price was bad, but honestly, I have a ton of brushes right now. And there's a couple of brushes that I have been eyeing, but they are for a specific reason. Anyhow, okay, here we go, friends. Ooh. Do you see that bronze right there? I think it's perfect. You see, that's the thing about Charlotte Tilbury products. Sometimes they look a little bit deceiving on the pan in the sense like you think, you know, these may not have enough pigmentation or whatnot, but then, look at this. Oh my gosh, and it blends so easy. Okay, I'm gonna look maybe a little bit funny, but be using the other bronzer on this side of my face let's do that and for that I'm gonna be using my Sonia G face pro brush okay look at that this was so easy to blend I think you can tell right here that this is a little bit warmer than these right here this is more of kind of like a very natural bronze while this shade right here at least on my skin tone is um, a little bit more alike to a bronze that you get as soon as you know you get that sunburn during summertime and it's blending beautifully look at that i think 
you can see it right here on my forehead a little bit better. This is a lot warmer than this side right here. Now, if you're new here on my channel, I do have a light to medium skin tone with golden, warm undertones. I get away mostly with neutral type of foundations, but I also use some warm foundations. All kind of like my most close match foundations, they are again on the description box below. Thank you so much for stopping by for being here and I hope that you really want to stick around and be part of the family by subscribing you know the drill and do not forget to ring that post notification bell okay so going back to these products right here definitely these I mean both shades for me they work really well this one right here will give me a little bit more of like that sun kiss type of look not too much I mean it's not because it doesn't have any you know red or too deep orange in it while this one right here is more of like your everyday bronze tone also another thing that I didn't notice because as soon as these were released for like a pre-sale I was like okay I, I need to get them you know like right away no matter what and I wasn't really looking at the description I know, what a consumer, right? That's why I'm making this video right here. But if you look on Charlotte Tilbury's website, on each of the bronzers, it tells you exactly, if you don't know which shade to get, it says down here, for example, it says the medium is suitable for you if you wear shades five cool to eight warm. Obviously, she's talking about her foundations in the airbrush flawless foundation or 5 medium to 8.5 medium in magic foundation and 5 medium to 9 dark in light wonder so i mean i think that is extremely helpful mostly if you are a consumer and you have a lot of like charlotte tilbury products that kind of like serves you as a guy but also even if you don't own any of those foundations i think that's also a really nice guy because if you're watching this video or you watch another youtubers and you kind of know their shades you know like what they use in charlotte tilbury and what you use that you know like something that it's in common that you're using the same foundation even though it's not charlotte tilbury you kind of have a little bit of a reference on what shade to get now let's go for this baby right here the luxury quad and this is her first all completely full matte quad in this beautiful bronze tone perfect for summertime now if you're not familiar with the luxury palettes they have a kind of like a specific system of how you're supposed to use the product now it it is i'm saying supposed because we are free to use our products however we want to but you know Charlotte tilbury she's a very respectful makeup artist with many years of experience and she really does beautiful products so that being said because this is a matte type of quad the order of usage is the same but the last shade is not a pop shade but it's a defined shade so first is your prime then second enhance third is a smoke and then this fourth shade is for defining okay so i'm just going to use it the same way that she suggests and i'm going to bring you even closer so we can see how it applies on the eyelids another important thing right here when i do any reviews of eyeshadow palettes i usually do not use primers i just use my concealer and then i set it which again i have set it with this powder right here so first i'm going to go ahead and use my sonia g jumbo blender and i'm going to go into the prime shade and I'm just going to prime all my eyelid. Now this shade right here, it's very much alike to the skin tone, but it has a little bit of warmth to it, which is surprisingly because it doesn't look like such on the pan. Sonia G Crease Pro and the shade Enhance. And I'm just going to place it right here on my outer V. As you can tell, this is more of like a warm shade. And it's not pulling orange either. And I'm also going to take it on my mobile lead. Sonia G Soft Shader and the shade Smoke. And these right here, I'm just going to keep it right here on my outer V. That same shade, I'm just going to take it on my lower lash line. Now Sonia G Flat Definer and I'm gonna go to the shade Define. 
And I'm just gonna go ahead and define my lower lash line as well as my upper lash line from kind of like one third of it towards the outside. And then I'm just gonna kind of create a tiny wing. Refer 3 brush and the shade Prime. And I'm just gonna take it right here on my inner corner just to highlight it just a little. I mean, these right here are completely matte. There's no sheen to it. And I'm just gonna take the same shade on my brow bone again just to kind of brighten it up a little. Now let's start with comparisons and swatches. So first let me just swatch this quad. Here are the swatches of Desert Haze. As you can tell, this shade right here, although it's a skin tone, obviously for light to medium skin tones, it does have a little bit of warmth in it. I mean, it's not completely like ivory or bone it it does have a little bit of warmth just a dash very little and then this shade right here like i said it's on that terracotta tone same thing with this one this one is kind of like a little bit of a deeper terracotta tone really beautiful now as far as comparison goes you know that charlotte tilbury doesn't have names for her eyeshadows so it's really kind of hard unless she says oh this comes from this palette and this comes from this other palette that's really the only way that we can know for sure if they are shades that are repeated obviously as a quad there's nothing I like to it but there's um i had been working in another video that you will soon be seeing it coming up this er early next week and I have <laughs> all my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes right here. It's crazy. So I, I was just looking at them and kind of like, you know, go over each of them and see which ones have a little bit more of a like, you know, tones. And I found that there's some similarities on this palette right here. This is the new Instant Eye Palette in Pillow Talk as well as this one, which is the Seri Eyes to Hypnotize. This was released during the holiday season of last year, 2019. And then a lot of people will be wondering about the Copper Charge. Um, this is just a recent release for her. Honestly, this shade right here, which is the only matte shade in the palette, it's even warmer than these shades right here but i'm gonna swatch it no matter what because i know some people that they are maybe on the fence like what should i do should i do this new matte one or should i go for the copper charge what should i do so i'm gonna swatch this shade right here on this side and it has just a dash of similarity with this shade right here but this is a lot deeper, a lot more copper, like the name of the palette itself. Now, if we go to this palette right here, okay, so if you have this palette, we're gonna swatch first from the desk section, this very light matte shade, and then we're gonna compare it with this one right here. Also, this palette right here, this was a holiday palette from 2018. It has this shade right here. Now, this one right here, I almost put my nail in it. Okay, that one is more of like a bone shade. As you can tell, this right here has a lot more warmth. And that's what I was saying. It doesn't look in the palette, but it has a little bit more warm thing to it. Okay, let's go for another shade. So, this right here. And then we're gonna go again to the desk section. We're gonna go to the desk, working at the desk. <laughs> okay, and I'm just grabbing that shade right there. Let's give it a go, here we go. And then this is from the holiday palette. Now let's go for the shade right here. And I'm gonna go to the date section. Now the last shade is this one right here. Now to me, this one is a cooler tone shade, which is surprising because everything else in this palette 
it's more of a warmer tone this one is definitely cooler the darker shade so this one right here i really couldn't find any shade on any of the palettes that at least i own that is this cooler in tone i mean i'm i'm just gonna go ahead and swatch this one just for the purpose of comparisons and perhaps okay i'm gonna jump into this palette right here the one from 2018 and i'm gonna swatch this one right here but again it's you're gonna see this is a lot more cooler in tone now that i'm done comparing this new eyeshadow quad i want to jump into the bronzers i'm going to compare them with other bronzers that they are very well known also with a couple other bronzers from charlotte tilbury and i'm talking in a specific of the glow gasm and this is in the love gasm version there's a light gasm too this one is the one that ended up staying on my collection now this formula is different than the formula of the airbrush the airbrush is actually a matte formula you know very soft finely meal this is a gelée type of formula so that being said i'm gonna swatch tan versus this one right here because obviously the other shade which is medium it's too light Now, again, different formulas right here. So we're not talking about the same formula, but if you wanted something deeper you and you have this specific palette, the Love Gossip, you already have a deeper tone than the Tan Tone. And now let's switch from the Film Star Bronze and Glow. The shade, this is the shade Light Medium. So I'm gonna swatch this one versus the shade Medium Bronzer right here. And in person they are not even close this is definitely a lot lighter okay now let's go for like i said some ogs right here so i have hula bronzer and what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna kind of like do like a sandwich i'm gonna put like these right here first the medium tone then the tan tone and in the middle of them i will put like for example the hula so hopefully it makes sense <laughs> okay let's just start now i'm gonna go for hula Okay, and then let's do tan. So Hula seems to be a little bit more neutral. Just a dash. Okay, let's go now for another OG, and this is from Marc Jacobs in the shade Fantastic. And for this one right here, I'm gonna compare these two. So here I'm putting Charlotte Tilbury, shade medium. And then down here I'm putting Marc Jacobs. Now I do have this one from Marc Jacobs, the 102, and I'm gonna compare it with this one right here, tan. The top is Charlotte Tilbury. Let's also give it a swatch to Terra from Tom Ford. So this one I'm gonna do again the little sandwich. <laughs> so here I have Charlotte Medium, Terra from Tom Ford, and here's Charlotte Tilbury, tan. Now the one in Terra has a little bit of luminosity to it, it doesn't have any shimmer but it's not matte. And now the last bronzer that I want to swatch is from NARS and I'm talking about Laguna. So here is side by side and side by side. Okay, let's go for Charlotte Tilbury in medium, then I'm going to go for Laguna and then I'm going to go for Tan from Charlotte. Now that I'm completely done with comparison swatches and you know the demo, I have to say that I'm pleasantly surprised with these new products. I mean, from the eyeshadow palette, I think it's just so beautiful, all matte. I mean, are the shades very similar to perhaps the Pillow Talk palette? I mean, yeah, there's some similarities right there, but they are not exactly the same shades, so they are not repeated shades, at least from the palettes that I have. And believe me, I have this project right here that I hope that you don't miss it, <laughs> but um, it's coming this early next week. And I have been swatching a ton of eyeshadow palettes from Charlotte Tilbury, all her quads and whatnot. And those are the only shades that I think, okay, these are more alike to this quad, but not exactly, not identical. The formulation is chef kiss. So 
beautiful so beautiful it actually blends so seamlessly there's no harsh lines there's no fallout either if you have folds or hooded eyes like I do I mean like these are this is a formulation of very high high standard it's something that you can take it on your purse for touch up for like I will even adventure to say even for everyday work if you use the lightest shades and kind of like mix it in a little just to tone it down and do something very simple I think it's super handy and if you're in love with Charlotte Tilbury I think that you will not be disappointed on the bronzers Honestly, I mean, like I was saying about the pricing and whatnot, yes, we're talking about a luxury price, but you receive quite a bit of product. Also, you're paying at front for the actual compact case, but then later on, if you need a refill or even if you want to have just one nice, beautiful compact case and then just purchase a refill later on when they come up later summer, just to, you know, swap them when you need them. I mean, I think the price is quite right. Um, if you don't want to pay that amount of money, I mean, there's obviously Marc Jacobs. They do an excellent job too with their bronzers, but I think you will definitely not be disappointed. And talking about that, this promise right here that Charlotte Tilbury made that this bronzer is supposed to kind of like blur your pores actually it does i haven't been using any primer on my pore area which is this area all the way right here i usually use either the tarte or the touch up the seal compass primer on the potty form and i left that as is just with the purpose to see how much it blur and honestly it blur really well in fact i'm going to show you a close up image right here or a little video so you can take a look at my skin right now. I think that you were able to see by that close up how blur are my pores on that area. And that is pretty impressive. And another important thing about this bronzer too that I don't think I mentioned it before, I do have dry skin aside to the large pores. I do have signs of aging too. I'm already on my fourth floor. So I just show, you know, my signs of aging and again, you know, my, my dryness. And I don't see this powder right here. I mean, from the close-up that you were able to see, there was no skipping or grabbing until any, you know, like dryness, patchiness or whatever it is. So it's completely nice and smooth. You just nail it on the head like no other. I mean, I'm super happy and with both shades of bronzers too. I mean, I do have the light, medium skin tone, like I said, and both bronzers for me, they work really well. I'm sure I can build it up. Perhaps this bronzer right here, because it's more on the natural side, I perhaps maybe have been able to skip it and just keep my film star. But this one right here is more of like that, you know, like more summer-like bronze on my skin tone. I hope that she will expand also her line of bronzers, just like any luxury brand, they need to do so. <laughs> but so far, I mean, formulation is there. I mean, you will be really happy with your purchase. And by the way, I'm not a sponsor by Charlotte Tilbury. She doesn't even know who I am. So don't, don't you worry. I mean, like this is a very sincere, honest, to the point review. You will not be disappointed. I'm truly enjoying these products. And I think I'm gonna leave it right here. Now, I really wanna know what you think about these products. Are you planning to purchase any of them or completely pass in on them? Or have you received them? Also, it's very important if you have tried them, mostly the bronzers, if you have a different skin type than mine, go ahead, let us know if you have oily skin, normal skin, combination skin, and you know, let's just start the conversation right there. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you will like to become part of my family and subscribe to my channel. Ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I bring you right here a lot of reviews, hauls, first impressions. I mean, you name it. And I have a really cool series right here where I create my own eyeshadow palette 
from existing palettes from other brands and it's a, a really fun way to kind of like you know get the most use out of our palettes so i really encourage you to take a look to this series again i would love for you to become part of my family thank you so so much for that support and that trust and also if you have a little bit of a chance come and follow me on my instagram and if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye-bye.